Hi, today we make an army green shell bag. It's an easy pattern uh, with single crochet stitches and a two row repeat raised shell stitch. We need uh, about 150 grams of worsted weight yarn in any color of your choice. I, I'm using the army green and an H8 five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and tapestry needle. Uh, the pattern is written in US terms and the back is crocheted from the bottom to the top. Let's get started. Make a slip knot on your hook and start with a chain 19. So 1, 2, 3, 17, 18, 19. Okay. Um, we make two single crochet in the second single crochet of sing second chain from the hook. So this is the first one. We skip that and we make two single crochet in the next. This is one and two. Now we make single crochet stitches in 16 chains across. So 16 single crochet stitches in each stitch across. So this is one, two, three, 15, and 16. So you made, you've made two single crochet stitches in the first stitch in the first chain, or the second chain from the hook, but it's your first working chain. And then 16 single crochet stitches across, and we have one sing, uh, chain left. We make four single crochet stitches in this next chain, the last chain. So it's one, two, three and four and now we make 16 single crochet stitches at the other side of our starting chain so we have four on this side and make 16 one two Three, I crochet over my tail so I don't have to weave them in later. Um, I lost count. One, two, three. Okay. This is four, five, fifteen, and the last one of this sixteen. Okay, in the last stitch we make two more single crochet stitches, so we have four in the beginning and four halfway, the end. You can call it this the, the end. So two more single crochet in this last last stitch. Two and close your um Close your round in this first single crochet. And this is your round one done. This is the bottom of your bag. Let's move on to round two. I forgot to mention you also need two uh, stitch markers to put in your work. So between the last two single crochet and the first two single crochet you put in the stitch marker and you put one in at the other end where you make the four single crochet so one two three four all in one stitch and then exactly in the middle you put in the stitch marker so you need this 
in the end. So in this case, this one can, <laughs> can come out straight away. We start with uh, two single crochet stitches in the first stitch after the, uh, after the stitch marker. So our first stitch of this round, this one gets two single crochet in that same stitch. So one and that's two. We make a single crochet in every stitch across. So every single crochet stitch gets a single crochet until we get to the other end. Okay, we are almost there. We have one stitch left before the stitch marker, so I take it all, take it out, and put two uh, single crochet stitches in this stitch before the stitch marker. So one and two, and I put two single crochet stitches in the stitch behind. The stitch marker i already take it out but this is the one behind so two single crochet stitches in this one and put back your stitch marker between these two last two and these two at this side so between this four you put in your stitch marker again okay now we make single crochet stitches all the way to the other side and in the last stitch you make two single crochet stitches and then slip stitch in the first single crochet so every stitch gets a single crochet there is one more So in this stitch you make two single crochet and we close this with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And then your round two is done. Let's move on to round three. Round three. For round three to eleven we repeat, repeat round two. And at the end of round 11, you should have a total of 84 stitches. So round 3 to 11, repeat round 2. And I'll meet you back at the end of round 11. Well, I, I have just finished uh, round 11. And this is what your work should look like after 11 rows, rounds. So this is the bottom of your bag. Uh, for row 12, we make one single crochet stitch in every stitch around. So a single crochet in every stitch around. And I mark my first stitch with a stitch marker. So it is easier to find. And then just single crochet all the way around and I meet you back when I am at the stitch marker again I am back at the beginning where my stitch marker is so I take my stitch marker out and make a slip stitch in that first single crochet so your work should look like this. We uh, repeat round 12, uh, three more 
rounds so 13 14 and 15 so until round 15 we repeat round 12 so one single crochet in every stitch around and I'll meet you back when we're at round 16 so at the end of round 15 we're done with round 15 so these are the single crochet in every single crochet round and now we can start our stitch pattern this, this is the bottom of your bag and now we start with the pattern on top so pick up your work round 16 starts with a chain one that doesn't count as a stitch and a double crochet in the first stitch so yarn over insert your hook in the first stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so this is your first uh, first uh, stitch a double crochet so we skip the next single crochet and we make three double crochet in the next single crochet so yarn over skip the next single crochet and in the next we make three double crochet that's one two and three okay so we skip the next single crochet and we make a double crochet in the next so yarn over skip the next and make a double crochet in the next so we skip a stitch three double crochet in the next skip a stitch one double crochet in the next skip a stitch three double crochet skip a stitch one double crochet and so on so the next is skip this single crochet and then three uh, double crochet in this next stitch one two and three skip a stitch and one double crochet in the next skip a stitch three double crochet in the next one two and three so this is your stitch pattern one double crochet skip a stitch three double crochet in the same stitch skip a stitch one double crochet skip stitch three double crochets to skip one skip three and so on all the way around and you end with a slip stitch in the first double crochet so i meet you back at the end of this round i'm at the end of round 16 and i need to close my round in this first double crochet with a slip stitch not in your chain one but in your first double crochet so a slip stitch in the first double crochet and your round 16 is done and this is what your work should look like when you lay it flat on the table so let's move on to uh, round 17 we uh, chain one turn our work and we single crochet in every stitch around so every stitch gets a single crochet and I meet you back at the end of round 17 I am at the end of round 17 I need one more single crochet in the last stitch and then a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round okay we move on to round 18 so chain one turn your work again
and then we make three front post triple crochet around the double crochet oh i'm sorry we make three front post triple crochet around the double crochet single double crochet we make in round 16 so we have the three double crochet here but we need the one double crochet so a front post triple crochet yarn over twice insert your hook from the front to the back and the back to the front behind the first double crochet of round 16 yarn over pull through and finish as a normal triple crochet so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two this is your first front post triple crochet we, we repeat this two more times around the same double crochet so yarn over twice insert from front to back back to front around the double crochet yarn over pull through you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you make two front post triple crochet we need one more so yarn over twice insert your hook front to back back to front yarn over pull through four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you make three triple crochet from post from post triple crochet <laughs> what a word and now we make a double crochet on top of the middle double crochet from around 16 so we have one two three and on top of the middle one we make a double crochet so pull through two pull through two now we make three more front post triple crochets around this double crochet so yarn over twice insert your hook behind this double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and two two so this is your first one we need two more yarn over twice go behind the double crochet yarn over pull through four loops on your hook Yarn over pull through two, through two, and pull through two. The last one, yarn over twice, go behind your double crochet, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over pull through two, pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And your three front post triple crochets are done. We make a double crochet on top of the middle one. From the three double crochet from round 16 so on top of the middle one in the single crochet you make another double crochet then we need to make three front post triples around the double crochet so yarn over twice go behind the double crochet and make a triple crochet yarn over twice behind and finish the triple we need one more so behind the double and we make a triple crochet now we need a double crochet on top of the middle one so on top of the single oops single crochet we make a double crochet so we repeat this all the way around so three front post triple crochets around the double crochet a double crochet on top 
of the middle double crochet and so on and I'll meet you back at the end of round 18 I'm at the end of round 18 I need one more double crochet on top of this middle one so double crochet and now I slip stitch in the first front post triple crochet to close my round so this is what your work should look like you see the shells raising up and we move on to round 19 so chain one turn your work and chain um, round 19 is the same as round 17 so a single crochet in every stitch around let me meet you back at the end I need one more single crochet and close around in the first single crochet with a slip stitch I make another slip stitch in the next single crochet to move up to your starting point of the next row round so chain one turn your work so we can start round 20 and round 20 is almost the same as round 18 uh, but instead of double crochet three double crochet we now have three front post triple crochets to work with so that's the only difference so we have a double crochet beneath our starting point so we need three front post triples around this double crochet so we yarn over twice go behind the post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two pull through two two now three <laughs> and pull through two this is one we need two more One to go. And three. So three front post triple crochets. And now we make a double crochet on top of the middle front post triple from round 18. So yarn over once. So two hook, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And we're we make three front post triple crochets around this double crochet and then a double crochet on top of the middle front post triple crochet from round 18 and then three front post triple crochets around this double crochet and one double crochet on top of the middle front post triple that's your repeat so repeat this all the way around and repeat rows 19 and 20 all the way up to 10 11 inches so your work from bottom to top measures 11 yeah 11 inches and then I'll meet you back so repeat rounds 19 and 20 until your work measures 11 inches so I've just finished my raised shell uh, pattern now we move on to make a border around the top so that's pretty easy we make just make single crochet stitches all around so chain one and make a single crochet stitch in every stitch around I'm at the end of my round I made a single crochet in the last stitch and now I make a slip stitch in the first single crochet so repeat this round 
three more times. So total of four rounds of single crochet stitches. And then I meet you back. So our bag is completed. The only thing we need to make is the strap. And how are we going to do that? We use the same pattern as the honeycomb pillow cover from the previous video. Um, I put a link to that video in the description box down below. So I'll put this aside and start with a strap. You make a slip knot and chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then single crochet in every stitch across. You start with the second chain from your hook. So this is your first single crochet, single crochet in the second, Six and the last stitch is number seven. Okay, so we have seven stitches, and now we start with our uh, pattern. So chain one, turn your work, and we picking up stitches. We're not using the top stitches, but we are. Coming down and picking up the bottom loop and the front loop of your top stitch. So you have a front and a back loop, and we pick up the front loops. So from bottom to top, pick up the bottom loop, and from bottom to top, pick up the front loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do that again. From the bottom to the top, pick up the bottom loop and pick up the front loop from your top stitch. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. From the bottom to top and from bottom to top. Pick up the bottom loop and the front loop. Again, the bottom loop up and up through the top loop, the front loop, sorry. And finish your single crochet. So the bottom loop and the front loop from the top. Last stitch. Bottom, bottom loop and the front loop and finish as a normal double single crochet. Okay, chain one, turn your work. Now we pick up the bottom stitches again and the front loop from the top stitch. So go down. Pick up the front loop, the, the bottom loop, here it is, and the front loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. 
did it again. The bottom loop. And the front loop from the top stitch. And finish a single crochet. The bottom loop. And the front loop. And finish your single crochet. The bottom loop, the front loop, and finish your single crochet. stitch the bottom loop from bottom to top and from bottom to top through the front loop and finish your single crochet and row two is done now it becomes much easier because you can see the horizontal bars much better so chain one turn your work and you see your horizontal bars here yeah, in the middle so we're no longer picking up stitches from the bottom loops but we pick up this stitch of this horizontal bar and then the front loop horizontal bar front loop horizontal bar front loop all the way across so here's your front your first horizontal bar and the front loop and finish your single crochet horizontal bar front loop and finish your single crochet horizontal bar front loop horizontal bar front loop and so on and on the other side by working up this row on the other side you see the next row of horizontal bars coming up so from now on it's every row the same so just go on until your work measures around 20 inches and then I meet you back so we can attach the strap together to the back. My shoulder strap has become longer than I had planned because I found 20 inches a little bit too short for me. I'm quite tall so I needed a little more strap to make the back nice, um, hang nicely. Uh, you can adjust the length of this strap as desired so uh, do that. Make it longer, shorter, do as you like. I made a lining for my bag um, by folding a piece of fabric of your choice with the right side inwards. Uh, sew it, sew it into the same shape as your bag, put it in your bag and uh, sew the top together. The final step is to attach our strap to the back. Attach our strap to the back. You do this by attaching the strap to the side of the back um, with single crochet stitches. So line it, line it up. So find the corner of your back, line it up and chain one, it works a little bit nicer, a little bit faster and then Insert your hook in the first single crochet from your strap 
and in the first single crochet you want to work and make a single crochet insert the strap and insert in the back and make a single crochet insert in the back the strap and in the back make a single crochet all the way to the end oops I have just enough yarn <laughs> to finish this side single crochet and pull your and through and give it a tuck so we attached this side and now we move on to the other side make sure your strap isn't uh, twisted and the other side we attach exactly the same so find your middle line your strap insert your hook in the first insert your hook in your back insert your hook in the second just single crochet from your strap and in your back and make a whoop, single crochet and so on repeat this the whole row And the last stitch <laughs> okay just enough yarn over and pull through and you attached your other strap so by now we already did that and weaving these ends and you're all done if you like this video don't forget to subscribe press the notification bell so you are the first to know when i upload a new video and um, now it's time to fill up the bag and go outside have fun